Again, Egypt was ripe for picking. And in fact, Napoleon led the French in an invasion in 1798 and defeated the Mamluks at Imbaba. With him, he brought the printing press to publish a newspaper that was to keep his troops informed, and hence communication was on its way to change. However, Napoleon's brief stay ended quickly and was followed by several foreign invasions until in 1805, when the Ottomans appointed the Albanian mercenary, Muhammad Ali, as viceroy in Egypt. In 1811, Ali threw a party for the Mamluk leaders at the citadel, where he had hidden soldiers behind the curtains of the dining room. Ali massacred the Mamluks and squelched any hope of them ever ruling Egypt again. Ali founded his own dynasty, which was to last until 1952. He introduced Egypt to Turkish culture, manifested in architecture as well as fashion. His mosque at the citadel is one of Cairo's most awe-inspiring sites. Its high gilded dome with its beautiful Arabic inscriptions demands reverence as the echoing silence resonates throughout. The most notable fashion statement of the period was the imposition of the fez that all men wore. Ali's successors continued.